Uh, let's see here. Paul's amazing statement here is an explanation and an expansion of the previous verse. Taken together, but what things were gained to me? These things I have counted loss for Christ. All of those wonderful accolades, loss. Yet, indeed, I also count all things loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ. The words, what things, of the previous verse was speaking of his great personal qualities of lineage and heritage, along with his special status within Israelite society. He had all of that. It was, um, uh, let me see here, make a note here, okay. Um, it was uh, along with his special status within Israelite society. Paul had all of the status, he had all of the accolades. We talked about that a minute ago, and that are what things. What things are now lost, okay? So that's what he's talking about. However, setting those things aside was not all that Paul considered loss. It's not, not just the past accolades, okay? These things are lost for Christ. Rather, he continues on with yet. Indeed, I also count all things loss, everything. There was nothing that he had worked for or accomplished in his life that was of any value to him in relation to true satisfaction or boasting he now made in his Lord. All things. He was a Roman citizen. Okay, he was born in Tarsus. He was this and he was that. I'm talking about things outside of Israelite society or that may have been tied in with it to make him you know, more competent in this manner or not. He certainly spoke Greek. He spoke Latin. He spoke Aramaic. He uh, uh, probably, sp he certainly spoke Hebrew as well. I say Latin, it's pretty certain that he would have, would have spoken Latin because he was taken to the formal courts and he conversed with the people there. He also uh, was a Roman citizen, so the chances are he probably spoke Latin, although that's not in the Bible. I wanted to qualify that. But all of these things were who he was, and he could say, you know, look at all the training I have. Look at all the... That's why he says, I speak tongues more than all of you. It's because he spoke more languages than everybody. He didn't speak more in gobbledygook during the sermon than everybody else. He spoke real languages and he could understand when somebody else spoke in that language and he could translate it for him. He was letting people know that. But all of these things, all of these things that he was, he counted all of it as loss, okay? It was loss for Christ. Rather, he continues on with, yet indeed I count all things loss. There was nothing that he had worked for or accomplished in his life that was of any value to him in relation to true satisfaction or boasting he now made in his Lord. When he met Christ, the most precious memory and the most hoped for goal were alike considered his loss. His very being was converted from that which is earthly and carnal to that which is heavenly and spiritual. Nothing of this world mattered and was loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord.